Greetings and welcome. I'm Psychic Medium Roberto and I truly hope you are doing well. I am forever guided by Spirit and humbled in the presence of Spirit. Trigger warning, the subject matter is of a mature nature and deals with true crime events. Disclaimer, all cases are treated as alleged until proven in a court of law. So ladies and gentlemen, here we have JLR Investigates. What an awesome channel and what an awesome character. Probably the most hard-working journalist um, on YouTube. And uh, I love it when his show starts. Come on in, folks. Come on in. Come on in. Uh, Hells out of America. That's my lame ex uh, attempt at American accent. <laughs> so, yeah, we have Jonathan Lee Richards investigates. And... Um, one of his other key uh, phrases is boots on the ground, boots on the ground. And that is the actual reason why I started watching him. And it was during the time of the uh, Sebastian Rogers case. Um, he was actually driving around the neighborhood. And... Uh, the vision or the image I'd received of the crime and image at the time, um, I wanted to see if it matched um, what I was seeing while he was driving around. And uh, I must tell you, he drove around the entire area and I'm thinking, these houses do not match. And he keeps driving, keeps driving, and boom, there I see the houses. So um, if you into breaking news crime, because that's what he does, when something's on the go, he is 99.9% .9 on it. And uh, I see he also does a bit of uh, storm chasing as well. Um, but he uh, sets himself up as a crime journalist a journalist reporting on human behavior. So let's have a look here. I want to just explain something before we start about the date that I'm using. All right, so have a look here quickly. This, if you go to his channel and the about section, right? Every channel on YouTube has a joined date. Okay. Every YouTube channel has a joined date. Whether it was on this date or later. But it's this date that will tell me what is this channel about. Does that make sense? So another example is... Someone is born today, and they're called Jane Doe, right? And today being September the 11th, 2024. 18 years later, Jane Doe decides to make her name Mary Jane. The fact that she changes her name on the 16th of August, whatever the date would be, 2032 or whatever. That does not count as the date when she, when, um, she now changes her name and changes the date of the name. That, that doesn't change the fact that she was born on 16th of August 2016. Does that make sense? So the original date stamp, like your birthday, will always be etched in the universe, as it were. Does that make sense? So these are the dates that I'm using. Okay. So here's his date here that he first joined YouTube. And then we have our plus three, plus six. Okay. Okay. So, let's zoom in here. 
16. In our recent crime stories, quite the infamous number. But in the real, real, and looking at a professional level, so he's a journalist, 7. And he's a crime journalist, 6. Okay, so 7 equals journalist. And 6, as you know, is crime. Okay, so on the scene we have a crime journalist who is hunting the perpetrator. 15.6 is the perp. While he's hunting the perp, he is gathering information. 24.6, gathering evidence for engaging with community. He's very busy on YouTube. I mean, I just saw now actually, uh, before starting the recording, he's uh, doing another report now. Um, he is always busy. Um, so securing evidence about the crime. And this is obviously the heinous nature of the crimes that he covers, right? So, and his channel is a life path six. Now, and again, for those that are starting in on this series, uh, on this episode of this series, six is the heart number. Six is the soul number. Six is the human number. And this is what I like about him as well. The 156, he's the guy next door. He's your buddy. You can relate to him. You can, uh, when you listen and see him, you, you can recognize him. He's easygoing. Of course, he's serious about his, what he's doing. Um, but he would be easy to engage with. Okay. Um, that's what the 156, a regular guy doing extraordinary things. Does that make sense? You know, uh, with the 33.6 as well, channels with a 336. A life path, I beg your pardon, a uh, power number. When someone has a power number, it is a calling. Okay. You are called here for a higher purpose. Okay. And even if there are difficulties, because 15.6 can also bring about difficulties, and the difficulties that come about are humans. Okay. But with the power number gives you the fortitude to overcome to overcome these difficulties with success. So seven also speaks about success. Okay. Uh, let me add that here as well. Success. All right. So that's, that's what he, or I beg your pardon, let's not make it personal. That's what the channel presents, right? As we see him, um, and I must say, I do enjoy his, uh, his uh, on-the-go journalism. I, I really find it amazing. Um, but what I was going to say as well, with these 33.6, content for days. The machine doesn't sleep unless the human sleeps. Okay. But uh, even with YouTube these days, the machine can work while you're sleeping, right? So what do we have here? As we start going deeper now in the summary and reflection, and we gather more information about the channel. So 19101. So this is bringing crime stories to the masses. So we can take the nine, also colloquially speaking, as crime. But if you want a, a direct um, translation, murder. But 
bringing crime stories to the masses, 10, his audience, compiling a story and bringing it out to the masses. Okay. And who wants to work for free? No one. So with a 10-1 outcome. And this also speaks to um, the, let's say, the ingenuity as well as the manufacturing system of the channel, if you want to go, if we want to really go this deep. Um, it's a machine. 33.6 is a machine. He is a machine. When he's out there, he's a machine. He is a machine when he's on the road. And, I mean, he's popping stories every hour by the looks of it these days. Um, all right, so let's have a look here. So, again, we have a commentary number. And that's him vocalizing, speaking, communicating, eight, communication about crime. Also, investigative journalism, 27.9. Investigative, seven, investigator, about crime. Mm. Having said that, because, so let me just, uh, having worked in the media space for eight, uh, 28 years, so here we go, here we got uh, journalism. Maybe this is the message for you, sir. So, yes, journalism. So that's on one hand. But this one, yeah, 27.9 is asking more of you. So, and with this production number, yeah, you have the ability to do it from a Structural point of view, in other words, how you operate. I love your two phone situation. <laughs> I think I think the way you know the, you know what I was thinking about this the other day actually. So we've just finished making a film, right? Now, and let's just say films in general cost a shitload of money, right? Yet here I am, for example, using a PowerPoint presentation, recording my screen, and its content. And we, I've always said as a channel manager in the terrestrial world, content is king. Yes, make it as presentable as possible, but content is king. And he does the same. I mean, he's using two devices to show one picture, then he shows another video, shows a live broadcast, but we watched him on another device, you know? That, this is the beautiful thing about YouTube, actually. And I'm sure uh, if you've got your own YouTube channel as well, you will agree. It's, it's a production it's you know and it's it's the same what the way we uh, approach a tv show or series or film the same principles apply on youtube if you take your craft seriously right um someone like uh, gazilla k uh, she's got so many fours uh i probably she probably has a spare room just with criminal documents in it and she will go through every single page of them um, so interesting about his channel, and let me fit, and this ties in with this. I believe there's another purpose here, and that is the investigative journalism perspective. And of course, we can all agree investigative journalism. Uh, on if depending on where you uh, poke the bear, from a tap on the nose to a tap behind the head, right? So you know that's the level of investigative journalism always tricky stuff so and also with conjunction with this 336 we have a portal sequence here right so you'll note he has a nine year in the day with a stack of nines so this is about higher self it's he it's it's about him pushing the limits It's about him pushing the limits here. And he does. I, I, I promise you. And a lot of my ex-colleagues will tell you. I did not stop for a minute. Okay. Um, even currently on YouTube. I, I feel I'm, I'm. 
I mean, the other day I did four, but one day for me is, you know, I do energy work. I mean, he does physically energy work, but this guy's pumping several episodes a day and pushing limits, pushing boundaries. This is a serious power energy in this channel. Very strong. So now we go to the plus six. So here's a very interesting number, 22.4. This is the evidence. So this also now speaks about purpose. And this is what I like about this channel and Melanie's channel. Um, and of course, Grizzly True Crime. is And all of the ones I've covered so far, um, Judy Ron, um, there's purpose behind these channels. So, so what's happening here? Evidence, evidence, evidence. Remember, he's gathering ed evidence in the field. Remember? What does he want to do with that evidence? He wants to take it to fucking court. He's not uh, popping videos so he can have uh, KFC in the evening. Do you know what I mean? And apologies if you hate KFC. <laughs> random example but with purpose he's got nines here the nine will always be their purpose evidence to court 12 3 is court we saw these numbers in melanie's channel 33 this impacts woman it, it, you know what i mean i'm not going to go there otherwise it's not one of those shows i'm trying to do a positive aspect here but also has a feminine touch here because crime affects family 24-6 as well. So here we go. He's in court. His intention is to take this evidence, give it to court, as it were, right? To lawyers. He has all the uh, court numbers here. Going to court, letting the judges and the um, prosecutors have evidence in the courtroom. So plus nine. As mentioned in the previous episodes, this is the obviously the day that it's launched and that's how the shop window looks. Okay, that's the shop window. Now, when we get into the plus nine, we have a look-see. So, yeah, the journalist is here. Okay. But in this man's case, journalism, be it, and in this case, crime germ, journalism, journalism. <laughs> and in this case, crime journalism is a means to an end for him. It's the, not, well, a means to an end in the sense, let me put it this way. It's his vehicle to achieve his objective. And what is his objective? Justice. Seven. So journalism allows him the fortitude, the springboard, the platform to accomplish his own personal goal. Here's the human struggle here, yeah, five. The, the, whenever, you, whenever there's crime involving human beings, I know that might sound weird because there's many other <laughs> comments that follow after that, but let's just say five is what human beings do when they behave their worst self. Okay comes along Mr. JLR. Here he is here. 15.6. He identifies the issue, which is a crime, which affects greater communities. So let's put it this way. I would imagine Let's say he goes on a scene, right? He's attending to a crime report. 
And he's gathering evidence, like we mentioned here. He's gathering evidence. But in the back of his mind, he's also thinking, what is the impact on community? Right? So here's his community numbers here. We've seen it in the previous channels as well. What is the impact of crime on community? 12.3. And when we reflect, what is the impact of community is a negative aspect. 12.3.1.2.3 literal sequence. 2.1.3 reduction. Still the same outcome with a 3, but it's a negative aspect. Something is lost in the community, right? And yeah, so he has, he has confirmation of his 24-6, right? So in, in the shop window, he's saying he cares about community and that's, yes, he has it here. But what actually knocks on his door is this number here. 42.6 is crime that impact families and how crime impacts family. And this is the heinous thing about crimes. Um, how dare someone take it upon themselves to make a life and death choice um, on someone else's life? How ghastly. But uh, let's just say, Jonathan Lee Richards, come on in, come on in, come on, come on in. Um, always starts his shows like that, really awesome. Good energy, energy for days. And uh, keep doing what you do. You do an amazing work. And I'm just, it's a tribute to you saying thank you. I uh, used your channel and still do uh, if I need uh, any kind of resource for crimes. So thank you very much. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is JLR Investigates. Um, you won't get bored with him. And if you have watched his channel and you know his channel, please leave your comments in the uh, comments there. I love engaging with them. Stay safe, stay alert. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.